You're going to the Oscars. I've been watching the Oscars since I was a little kid. So the fact that I get a great seat this year, get to go to the show, uh, chance of a lifetime. You're the screenplay writer for Flight. Do you have any advice to aspire to something like you accomplished? Well, you know, I, I moved to Los Angeles in 1990 and I was young then, much younger than I am now. And I was a bartender and a valet car parker and uh, a waiter. I was a nanny. They called me the Manny. I was a plant guy. I watered Brad Pitt's plants. I mean, I did a lot of jobs in Los Angeles. Yeah, so, you know, I love Los Angeles. I've lived here 20 years. I've been in the business that whole time in different areas. So, you know, to have this movie and my script find its way, you know, all the way to the Oscars is... Yeah. It's kind of a dream. You're quite unique. Love love the cowboy hat. Have you always been a cowboy at heart? Kind of. I love horses. I made a horse racing movie called Dreamers. When I was shooting that movie, I, I realized how amazing cowboy hats really are. Because, you know, you never see cowboys carrying umbrellas. You don't ride a horse and carry an umbrella. But these are kind of like umbrellas. So you can wear them in the rain. They keep the sun off your face. They're kind of great. I mean, if you're looking for a red carpet tip, I would say don't wear a cowboy hat on a red carpet. How about your just hanging around style? I'm really into sneakers, so I usually have some sort of, you know, crazy pair of sneakers. And yesterday, actually, there was a photo in the LA Times with these Christian Louboutin sneakers that I had that someone gave me as a gift. So if you, I, I would say that if you start to wear one thing, people recognize it and then start to give it to you. Because I had a gentleman come up to me the other day and said, hey, I saw you in that cowboy hat, that thing at Santa Barbara. I said, can I send you a hat? And I said, sure. Do you have a beauty regimen that you follow? Obviously, you brush your teeth every night because your teeth are beautiful. I, I, <laughs> you take good care of those I, pearly whites. I brush my teeth. Um, I eat my vegetables. I try to shower. Um, you know, I wash my hair usually every other day. Okay, that's good to let the oils kind of absorb the hair. Na natural yeah, oil yeah. is always good. When people try to get you ready to go to events, it's really funny when they show up for the first time because it's like they cut hair off of all kinds of parts of your face and your body. You're kind of like, okay, and they have no bones about it. They're just like, come here. Like, psh, 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 psh. Before you had all that, what did you do? I think I just looked like everybody else in the world. <laughs> you just had to try and throw yourself together. And yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're and welcome. best of luck to you. Uh, do you have any like fashion or style tips to offer our viewers at home? Yes, always. Match the shirt or something in the shirt. Just because you're short and fat doesn't mean you shouldn't be stylish. Do you always do that to add a little yeah. flair? Yeah. It's kind of your signature. It's everybody's, but I think a jacket without a scarf, you're not dressed. It's very classy. I think so. Although the bow ties are coming back in style. I don't like them. They make me look fat. You know, it's like oh, yeah. no ties. No it's ties at all. Too restricting. You like it to be open and wild yeah. and sexy. Are you watching this? Hair. I don't shave it all. Do you follow like any particular beauty regimen? In the morning, 31 flavors. About 3 o'clock, yum yum donuts. And then in the evening, about 10, 11 o'clock, more 31 flavors. I'm telling you my secret. I love it. Thank you so much.